In composition of functions, we combine two functions. And the method we will be using to combine is by using f circle g or the composition of f with g. So this is the pattern. When solving a problem for composition of functions, the first variable f will be expressed into its given. And after expressing it into its given, you find how many x are there in the given and that x will be replaced by the second function which is g wherein f is considered to be the dependent function and g is considered to be the independent function. Let's have example number 1. Find the composition of f with g. When f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 and g of x is equal to 3 minus 2x. The given of f is 5x minus 3 and for g is 3 minus 2x. Let's begin with the solving. The first function is f, so we copy the given of f, which is 5x minus 3. So the composition of f with g is equal to 5x minus 3. After we copy the given, we find where x is located and replace it with the second function g, which is 3 minus 2x. So here we see that the x is located beside 5. We replace that with the second function. We now have 5 parenthesis 3 minus 2x minus 3. After substituting, we proceed to simplifying the problem. 5 will be distributed to 3 and also be distributed to negative 2x. Then combine like terms. 15 and negative 3 is equal to 12 and we have our answer which is negative 10x plus 12. Therefore, the composition of f with g is equal to negative 10x plus 12, or 12 minus 10x. Easy, right? Now let's move on to example number 2. Find the composition of k with a when the given of k is 2x minus 1, and the given of a is 5x squared minus x plus 4. Same procedure, copy the first function which is 2x minus 1. So the composition of k with a is equal to 2x minus 1. Next, we find the x and replace it with the second function which is 5x squared minus x plus 4. Now we have 2 parenthesis 5x squared minus x plus 4 minus 1. Next thing we should do is distribute. Distribute 2 to 5x squared, 2 to negative x, and 2 to positive 4. So 2 times 5x squared is equal to 10x squared, 2 times negative x is negative 2x, and 2 times positive 4 is equal to positive 8. And then copy negative 1. After substituting, combine like terms. 8 minus 1 is equal to 7, and we have our answer 10x squared minus 2x plus 7. Therefore, the composition of k with a is 10x squared minus 2x plus 7. Here's another example. Find the composition of p with q when the given of p is x squared minus 6x plus 9, and the given of q is x squared minus 4. Copy the first function p, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. So the composition of p with q is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. Next, we find the x and replace it with the second function. As you can see, there are two x's in the given of p, the x squared and the x besides 6. So those x will be replaced by the second function q, which is x squared minus 4. And now we have parenthesis x squared minus 4 squared minus 6 parenthesis x squared minus 4 plus 9. Remember to put the exponent. After we are done substituting all the values of x, we then proceed to eliminating the exponent and parenthesis. So here in x squared minus 4 squared, we multiply the given by itself as it has an exponent. The method that we will be using to multiply is the FOIL method. 
x squared times x squared is equal to x to the power of 4, x squared times negative 4 is equal to negative 4x squared, negative 4 times x squared is equal to negative 4x squared, and negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to positive 16. So now we have x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared minus 4x squared plus 16. Next, we distribute negative 6 parenthesis x squared minus 4 plus 9. Distribute negative 6 to x squared, negative 6 to negative 4, and negative 6 to 9. So negative 6 times x squared is equal to negative 6x squared. Negative 6 times negative 4 is equal to positive 24. And copy positive 9. So x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared minus 4x squared plus 16 minus 6x squared plus 24 plus 9. We will now proceed to combining like terms. Negative 4x squared minus negative 4x squared plus 6x squared equals to negative 14x squared. Then combine 16, 24, and 9, which equals to 49. So now we have our answer, which is x to the power of 4 minus 14x squared plus 49. Therefore, the composition of P with Q is x to the power of 4 minus 14x squared plus 49. Example number 4. Find the composition of G with F when G is 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 and the given of F is 2x plus 1. Copy the first function which is 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. So the composition of G with F is 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. As we can see, there are two x's, so we replace those x with the second function which is 2x plus 1. And now we have 2 parenthesis 2x plus 1 minus 1 over parenthesis 2x plus 1 plus 1. We are done substituting the values of x. So now we proceed to distributing 2 to 2x and 2 to 1. So 2 times 2x is equal to 4x and 2 times positive 1 is equal to positive 2 and copy negative 1. After distributing, then combine like terms. So now we have 4x plus 2 minus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 1. Positive 2 minus 1 is equal to positive 1, and positive 1 plus positive 1 is equal to positive 2. And we have our answer 4x plus 1 over 2x plus 2. Therefore, the composition of G with F is 4x plus 1 over 2x plus 2. Example number 5. Find the composition of G with H when the given of g of x is equal to negative 3x plus 4 and h of x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. Copy the first function which is negative 3x plus 4. Next, replace the x beside negative 3 with the second function. Now we have negative 3 parenthesis 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 plus 4. Distribute negative 3 to 3x squared 3 to positive 6 and 3 to negative 4. So negative 3 times 3x squared is equal to negative 9x squared. Negative 3 times positive 6 is equal to negative 18. And negative 3 times negative 4 is equal to positive 12. And copy positive 4. Combine like terms. Positive 12 and positive 4 is equal to positive 16. And we have our answer which is negative 9x squared minus 18x plus 16. Therefore, the composition of G with H is negative 9x squared minus 18x plus 16. That is all for today and I hope you had fun learning composition of functions. Thank you for watching.